I know you waited for it so much time. Five key principles of the King's Indian defense. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg. I'm chess grandmaster and I know you're struggling to find the right moves when you're playing black in the King's Indian defense. But don't worry. In today's video, I'm going to show you the five key principles every black player must know to dominate this opening. From counter-attacking to clever knight maneuvering, you will learn everything you need to know to crush your opponents. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe my channel for more chess content. Let's dive right into it. So principle number one is the flexible pawn structure that defines the king's Indian defense. Black allows white to take the center early on with pawns on e4, d4, and c4. Why? While holding back with pawns on d6, e7, c7. This might seem passive at first, but it gives black dynamic counterplay later in the game. The key is timing your pawns break. Principle number two. In the King's Indian, the e5 and the c5 pawns break are cruci crucial. You know, you really want to prepare this carefully. Once white extends in the center, you will strike with e5 or c5, challenging their center control and opening up the game for counterplay. These moves really put pressure on white center and opens lines for your pieces to become more active. Principle number three, knight maneuvering is essential in the king's Indian. A typical route for black's knight from f6, e8 and d6 for example, and we have also b8, d7, c5, and of course another one is b8, a6 and c5. So it really supports central play and of course can jump into active positions and square later. The flexibility of these maneuvers allows black to reorganize their pieces and create tactical opportunities. The knights are your key attackers and of course also the key defenders here. Principle number four. One of the most feared weapons for black in the King's Indian is the King's Pawn Storm. With your pieces ready to strike, you are pushing your pawns with f5, g5, h5, g4 to launch a devastating King's attack. White focuses on the center and the queen side. Your pawn structure can become unstoppable. Timing is everything here. Wait for whites to overextend before you are push. Principle number five and the last one. While you are launching your kingside attack, you also need to be ready for white's queenside expansion. It's common for white to push b4 and c5 to gain some space. But your goal is to create dynamic counterplay and defend carefully while setting up your king's side attack, for example, with rook f7 and bishop f8 to control this diagonal. If you can hold the queen side long enough, your king's side attack and initiative will crush your opponent. And that's it. Five must know principles for playing black in the king's Indian defense. By mastering these ideas, you will be ready to take on anyone who's playing 1d4. Which of these principles do you find most powerful? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe my channel and hit the notification bell for more chess teams and strategics. Thank you very much and see you soon. Bye bye.